Morning, everybody. Um, as you can see, my phone cleared up camera-wise. It's no longer foggy. Um, I just wanted to say, some people have been commenting on my uh, terribly poorly shaven sideburns. Um, I don't shave them that way. That would be hilarious. But uh, <clears throat> I don't know if it was chemo or radiation or immunotherapy that did it. But now I got like a Nike swoosh over here. And then like a 13-year-old <laughs> sideburn over here. Um, I'm thinking about sporting them though. What do y'all think? Growing out real, real burly? Like this one would just be, be, be my strong side, you know? Then this one. Um, I, I don't know. Have y'all seen Finding Nemo? Ha ha ha! Mustache did the same thing. So it got like, it was totally bald here. And that was definitely after radiation, by the way. It was totally bald right in the middle. Um, like an opposite Hitler. And then I had big, dark, Stuff. And it's, it's never been this dark or thick and it was super dark on the ends and then it switched opposite <laughs> And now I have dark in the middle and then this side's fine. I think but this side's like blonde and super um, um, Sparse Yeah, smart words super big word um, But anyways, that's just my facial hair stuff But I thought I realized I haven't posted anything other than like music videos for a while. So Thought I'd let y'all know what's going on. Um, I don't know if y'all can see my jaw. If I had shaved my neck beard, my neared, if you will, um, you'd be able to see it. Yeah, that's kind of obvious. So there's there's a tumor in my face right here. Um, so we had the sinonasal tumor um, removed and then it grew back and it's been the main issue. Um, and recently y'all know that I had a bronchoscopy to uh, get a biopsy of my lymph nodes because a PET scan lit those up as well, the ones in my chest. There's like five or six of them that illuminated on, this, on the imaging. Um, so uh, that turned out to be cancer. The dentist and everybody else was like, this is probably just a reaction to immunotherapy. Let's you know, talk to your medical oncologist and adjust amounts or, adjust, or change drugs or something like that. Um, but as soon as we found out the lymph nodes also were the exact same morphology as this uh, tumor, the one back in my sinuses, we realized this is a tumor also, and it's growing. So it is actually growing pretty fast. In fact, it's the only thing that is symptomatic right now. The one in my head, no headaches, nothing. That one is, uh, imaging proved that that one is growing into my brain farther, which really sucks. Um, lymph nodes, asymptomatic. I feel fine, not coughing, no blood or anything like that. Um, but this thing is starting to hurt, um, lots of pressure and I've got a loose tooth way back in the back. Um, that's been going on since I first had symptoms from this when it was not even uh, swollen. Um, but it's very irritating. Um, and I mean like mentally, not, not physically. It's, it's barely symptomatic right now. Um, but I have a feeling that's gonna be a big issue soon. Um, anyways, we went and talked to clinical trials team. Basically my medical oncologist, uh, uh, radiation uh, oncologist. I don't know if he's a radio oncologist or radiation oncologist, whatever. The dude that zapped my face hole. Um, he and medical oncologist and my surgeon lady, head and neck doc, they all said um, that uh, they're kind of out of options and that's why we went and saw the clinical trials team. There's a very hungry cat around here somewhere. Um, <clears throat> but uh, what was I saying? So uh, we went and talked to them Monday, I think. Yeah, and uh, on the 15th and um, it was awesome. It was a really cool visit. The dude was super cool and had an awesome accent that Jackie and I couldn't figure out if he was like super German or Austrian or something. I don't know. We're not great at determining European accents. It's like, you're definitely uh, not from here. <laughs> but he was a brilliant dude who seemed real optimistic for these new drugs. Um, there was a lot of fears that we have. Out of apple juice, you want some more apple juice? How about orange juice or water this time? I don't know. You want more apple juice? Okay. Okay, go play with Ellie and I will bring you more apple juice in just a minute. Um, so he had a lot of good information. We had a lot of worries. Uh, one of the things was financially. So our, our insurance has covered a lot, uh, on, honestly, almost everything. Um, for all of this, which was like half a million dollars almost by now. Um, just my surgery in January was like $120,000. And they covered that. They, phew, so glad, <laughs> so glad, so thankful. So um, 
I should elaborate on that. I should have an entire episode on just that soon, because, yeah. Um, it's been uh, saving grace. So, uh, other things we were worried about is, like, this thing's growing real big, and I just had radiation on my head, and you have to wait six months, I think. Yeah, six months after receiving a certain amount of radiation, which we did double dose of radiation every day. So they hit me pretty hot. And, um, and so the clinical trial drug doc guy, I don't know his title at all. Um, he said, you can't have radiation on this tumor. He said, but because the drug that we've found and what we're going to be doing, he said, you are a candidate for getting this, um, radiated and your lymph nodes, if they start becoming symptomatic, then we, we can, we can light those up too. Um, so that's, that's amazing news. That's really good because radiation, there's, there's no defeating radiation. There, I don't know of any cancers that can stand up against it. My cancer has stood up against everything, but radiation destroyed that thing. It's still growing, but we're no longer, we haven't been on radiation for, I don't know, three months, maybe two months. I don't know, something like that. Um, but, uh, so that's great that I can receive radiation. Um, the experimental drug that they've found right now, it's not FDA approved, and that's why we were worried about our insurance not covering it. But, um, so the way that a clinical trial works is think of, think of if you were that drug company and you found this potentially life-saving cure drug, you would want to get as much data together so that you can try to get FDA approved so that you can put your product on the market and make money. So. In order to do that, they're investing in their drug by paying for it for me and all the other uh, clinical trial candidates, patients, whatever you want to call them. Um, so we don't have coverage on the drug, but they're covering the drug. So that's awesome. And I think that our insurance will cover all like the scans and doctor's visits, etc. that we're going to have coming up. So that's excellent news. Um, it's really good news. Um, I can't think of any other fears that we had. Uh, so probability of the drug working, crazy low. I mean, it's totally experimental, but uh, it's good to still have options and still be trying stuff and still feel great. I'm, I, I have just so few symptoms. Getting a very guilty look from a girl. Oh, you're out of apple juice? All right, y'all are just chugging it today. Hey, go finish your cereal and you'll get more apple juice. Okay. What? That's better. Got her, got her real whipped into shape. <clears throat> um, so yeah, um, what else? As far as like home life, family life, we've been doing great, having fun. What? Yes, sir. He came over just to say yes, sir. <laughs> He's also pretty whipped into shape. Um, watching him trip over our cat right now. Um, anyways, uh, but things are good medically. I mean, I, I guess <laughs> things are pretty crappy medically, but. Uh, Things are moving forward in a way that we can tr start the clinical trial drug and we should start it in two weeks. Right now our insurance company and MD Anderson are discussing finances and as soon as they come to an agreement then we can go ahead and get the schedule rolling, which MD Anderson actually has already scheduled all the things and they're like, don't show up until we call you. Everybody always shows up and they're super pissed because we haven't gotten it all together but it's first come first serve, so we wanna get you on the schedule first, and then if you're FDA, or not FDA approved, if you're financially approved, whatever, then we will move forward with those um, pre-scheduled, scheduled appointment things. So, um, looking forward to that, because this jaw thing is growing pretty fast. I'm assuming it's the exact same type of cancer that's in head and lymph nodes, so. Um, yep, I have uh, bored y'all for nine minutes, but that was pretty informative, and Thought I'd get y'all caught up on things. I hope y'all are doing great. Uh, this is all clean laundry, so this is what I've been doing. <laughs> and uh, if y'all wanna come help, that'd be awesome. There's also some dishes to be done, and uh, the rest of the house is a mess. Uh, yard needs to be mowed too, but that's my therapy. So um, don't mow my yard. I love doing that until I'm not able. I love to mow, it's so good. If you don't mow, you don't know. I just made that up, it's perfect. Hope y'all have a great, Friday? Yup, because it's trash day. <gasps> I gotta get the trash out. I gotta go, bye.